so hi guys so in today's video we would be looking at a loop function in the previous videos we have looked at uh, functions like sigmoid tan h relu leaky relu but today we would be looking at a different function that is elu function so exponential linear unit function is its full form and it is an it is an activation function for neural networks as you must be knowing so elu is proposed to solve the problems of relu obviously you know elu has all that uh, advantages of relu and leaky relu in contrast to relu uh, elus have negative values which allow them to push mean unit activation closer to zero like uh, batch normalization but with lower computational complexity which was a problem in both relu and leaky relu so you can look at the graph that the elu function uh, activation function graph is as following and the derivative is as following so let's look at the formula of elu so elu works like this if uh, the values x if the value of x is greater than or equals to 0 it would simply give you the answer as x but if the value of x is less than 0 then it would give you the answer alpha e raised to the power x minus 1 which is exponential uh, obviously the from the name itself you must be getting to know so uh, i would for, for running this notebook i would first simply go here set it to tpu and simply to connect and uh, from the formula you must be knowing that what are these terms alpha so alpha is a term that we define as a you can uh, think as a learning rate or a particular uh, constant that would help us get better values for where x is less than 0 so first of all i would uh, run matplot uh, matplot library and numpy library i would be importing them and then i would define define the Re, uh, uh, I mean, elu function. So I just corrected the name here. Yeah, and it, the elu function is defined as following: uh, that x and alpha has been defined. If x is greater than zero, simply return x. Else, return alpha star numpa the numpa exponential power of x. That is, we defined here e raised to the power x minus one. And I would simply run it. And yeah, it has been run. now we would plot the figure and this is the input series minus 4 minus 2 0 2 4 we are going to take the same values that uh, this gra graph is taking here and uh, we would just simply pass here the elu function i just rewrite the name and but before that i didn't run the input series cell i would just run it and i would then run this and you can see the graph is almost similar that curve due to the complexity is uh, is not getting but yeah you can see the values so for here it, we defined alpha as 0.5 if you want you can even define alpha as 0.05 so if i run this now you can see it's a linear not the linear curve now i if i define 0.1 for it you can see it's working like this 0.01 would give you something else and you can experiment all with all the values for now i would uh, default keep it as 0.05 and yeah uh, so i would just do 0.5 for now and you can see the graph here. so this is how the whole function is working from the previous formulas of activation function you must be knowing that how we are defining all the things here so now let's look, uh, look at the implementation in keras so in the previous videos we look at tf.keras.activations.sigmoid.tanh.relu but in this video it is elu and uh, x and the alpha value that has been defined so the exponential linear unit with alpha which is greater than 0 is x if x is greater than 0 and alpha multiplied by exponential of x minus 1 if alpha if x is less than 0 so the elu hyperparameter alpha controls the value to which an elu saturates the for negative in net inputs that is elu diminishes the vanishing gradient effect you know this is a very important line because we saw in a lot of activation function the vanishing gradient effect now elu have negative values which uh, which pushes the mean of the activation closer to zero which means activations are the uh, mean activations that are closer to zero enable faster learning as they bring the gradient closer to the natural gradient so elu saturate to a negative value when the arguments get smaller So let's run this in Keras. First, I would import TensorFlow. You know it's important. Then we would define a function tf dot constant and values inside it minus ten, zero, four, five, seven, ten, and 
then we would define tf.keras activation foo.numpy and as you can see these are the values which is returning us so by default if you see by default if you want to see uh, yes the by default the exponential alpha has value which is set to uh, which is uh, which is has been has been set to one i guess and once once you uh, you get the uh, once you define your own value the function would act according to that only here i have defined alpha is equal to 0 0.5 so things are going to be a bit different minus from minus 0 0.9 to minus 0 0.49 so yeah this is how things are working here so what are we taking the arguments x as input tensor alpha a scalar slope of negative section you know alpha controls the value to which an alu saturates for negative net inputs and it what it returns the exponential linear unit activation function you know if x if x is greater than 0 you know the, this formula you need to keep the keep, keep this in mind even though tensorflow and keras has that inbuilt for you but i would recommend you so alpha star uh, that is multiplied by exponential of x minus 1 if x is less than 0 and let's look at its advantages and disadvantages so in the advantages you can see it has no dead ReLU issues the mean of the output is close to zero it is zero centric which means and the only one disadvantage is that is one small problem is that it slightly more computational intensive similar to leaky ReLU although it's theoretically better than ReLU but uh, there is currently no good evidence in practice that LU is always better than ReLU. It has been observed that sometimes even ReLU is better. So this is how the LU activation function work. I would as usual provide the link to this notebook in the description section. You can go and uh, fetch, uh, fetch it from there and uh, play with this notebook in with your own experimental values and uh, enjoy learning. So this was it for the video. In the next video, we would be looking at another activation function. So thank you and have a nice day.